This week on Fire House Kitchen, I am cooking with Pip again. What's going on? Hi, brother. Rob Paparo, I said it right? You got it, All man. Right. And got AJ it. Fusco. AJ, what's up, brother? What's going on? Now, AJ's been on the show before from Harrison Fire Department. We got Fork and Hose. Yep. And we got 555 Fitness. Man. These two guys actually got together and they contacted me and they, I had to make a deal with them. AJ gets his own show for Fork and Hose. Yep. And then Pip gets his own show for 555 Fitness. And then I have to do a show with them together because together it's just magic in the kitchen. <laughs> it's just magic in the kitchen. And uh, you know they're in here. They both get their, sh their, their sleeves on. And they get it's like a, it's like a uh, fire department version of inked. Today. <laughs> All right, cool. So uh, first thing we're gonna do, um, Pip is gonna help me prep this and, and, and cook it. We're gonna take the chicken. We're gonna season it with some salt and pepper and some uh, what I have here is uh, oregano and basil. Just sprinkle a little bit over that. In the meantime, I'm gonna put some oil on our pan. Nice and easy. Just a little olive oil. That's it. Turn our pan on, maybe medium, medium high. Very nice. Want to get the oil nice and hot? Beautiful. You could use, you know, any kind of herbs. I I just happen to have oregano and basil. Um, parsley will do. Uh, it'll be fine. Sage. These are good locker staples in any firehouse yeah, pretty in America. Much. Salt, yeah. pepper, oregano. Stuff that stays on the shelf and, you know, you're good. All right, a little more seasoning. Now, I'm Irish. Mm -hmm. I came up from an Irish background. Yep. You know. uh, my wife's all Italian. So my wife would come over on, you know, Thanksgiving. She'd come over on the holidays. And my sister Susan would say, hey, Lori, those potatoes that you made last year were delicious. What did you do to season them? My wife would just go, salt and pepper. <laughs> You know, this is simple. simple. That's it. A little easy, man. That's so. not easy. That's why this this kind of dish is simple. You know, Pip's gonna throw the chicken in now. We're gonna get a nice color on them. We want to, you know, get a nice brown color on them. Um, while that's going, we're gonna chop up some of our chicken sausage. Um, as we know, Five 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 Fitness and Fork and Hose were we're, we're about health and, and fitness in the firehouse. And one of the ways you could do that instead of using traditional pork sausage, you get some chicken sausage. Uh, it still has a ton of flavor, um, and, it, and it, it tastes great. Guys right. usually don't even tell the difference sometimes when I make it. So I'm just gonna chop it up real quick, and I'm gonna have Pip throw it in the pan. We got a little sanitary rag right here. It's got a little bleach of water. Sterilize his hands, it's hidden in the kitchen. We don't want anybody getting uh, botulism or, or uh, not botulism, oh, uh, it's salmonella. <laughs> same difference. Same yeah, thing, yeah. almost like the same thing, right? Once you get the firehouse, got botulism in the last meal. The chicken sausage is actually fully cooked already, so we don't have to worry about that. That's awesome. It's not like raw chicken or anything. Oh, there you that's go, that's right. we lost one. Sacrifice. One goes on the floor, what happens? This is the firehouse, half the meal's on the floor. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, this dish is rustic, you know, you don't, there's no fine dicing or anything like that because uh, when I went to Italy for my honeymoon, I noticed a lot of the dishes, it was like, you know, your grandmother cooked it. Mm -hmm. And, and I, feel, I feel like that's that style of cooking is what I love. And there's a lot of healthy versions. And this dish, you're talking about meat, um, you got veggies. You could put potatoes in there if you wanna, uh, if you don't mind the carbs, but this is a lower carb version. There's no potatoes. Is this one of them, is it, I mean, chicken cacciatore. I mean, that's a, that's it's, a popular dish, it's right? A, it's, it's a red sauce, yeah. you know, popular dish amongst yeah. the Italians, Italian Americans. Yes. You've probably seen in the restaurants a lot. Yeah, I think my, my, my wife, uh, my wife doesn't make it. I think her, her father Anthony does, but I know the chicken cat. I remember thinking eating it one time. What do we eat? We get chicken cacciatore. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It sounds fancy yeah. too, which is always good. Yes, it does sound. Yes. Yes. Irish guys always gotta use their hands when they talk uh, like the an Italian. Italian. Yeah, that's how like Italians talk. You gotta be like right? me all the time, huh? That's not because that's how Italians talk, right? They go, hey, what's going on? Exactly. Who likes ice cream? I do. <laughs> <laughs> How's our chicken? It's looking good. We're cooking down. Cool. Awesome. So now we're uh, we're gonna throw some some onion in. Okay. Just sliced onion. 
Just one onion, pretty much. This right? is actually a half an onion. Half an onion. Yeah, you know, all the power. I love onions. So I can... Some, you know, you know how it is in the firehouse. Some guys like, uh, you know, olives. Some don't like olives. Some like onions. Some don't. I said that you're either an olive lover or you know. Yeah. I, I happen to love olives. Oh, love them. We've got our onion cooking down with the chicken and the chicken sausage. Uh, our next step, we're actually going to use some tomato paste. Mm -hmm. I like to add tomato paste because it adds a lot of body to the sauce. Um, and a lot of flavor, it's just concentrated tomato. And what I like to do is put the tomato paste in and then let it caramelize, you know, just like anything. All food has natural sugar in it. Ooh. So as this tomato paste is cooking down, it's, the sugars are actually caramelizing and you get a little sweetness out of it. So I'm just gonna put Very about nice. ta two tablespoons in here. Have Pip stir it up, get it all mixed around. A little caramelizing. Yeah. Tomato paste. I like that. I've never heard caramelizing in tomato paste. You usually do it with sugar. Yeah, well, tomatoes have a lot of sugar. A lot of sugar. You know? Uh, sugar. And, and that sugar, when you cook it like this, it, it really comes out and it sweetens up everything. It's great. Next, we're going to throw in two sprigs of rosemary. I'm not chopping it. I'm not cutting it. I'm not doing anything. I'm going to throw them in whole. Some of the leaves will fall off while it's cooking, but that's fine. Do we take it out after, or uh, we eat that rosemary? Well, you no, you don't eat it, but, you know, as you're plating it, if you see a piece, you know, pull it out. Yeah, okay. Just the, the twig part. You know, okay. I mean, you don't want to be enjoying your chicken. Yeah. Is that a chicken bone? Oh, it's fiber. It's rosemary. God, rosemary. It went through. Beautiful. Almost, almost, yeah. Well, you, you can smell the rosemary right now. It's a super... Yeah, that's pretty rosemary. wild. Yeah. I just got a whiff of it. That's awesome. It's good stuff. That's pretty cool. And, that, and that's usually not a big firehouse thing, rosemary. You know, and then... You, you know, could use dry if you have it. A lot of times, guys like to keep yeah. dry on because it's, it's shelf-stable. Yeah, um, in, my, in my 10 years on FDNY, no one ever said that. Can you please get me the rosemary and have in the fridge? <laughs> I, I like to, you know, I like to expand the guys' horizons a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Which, uh, Open their palates a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah. That's what Firehouse Kitchen's all about. It's about learning how to cook. It's about learning different spices. I mean, I didn't know what time was until we made this show. Yep. Right? right? Thanks, yeah. We got a few more minutes for this to cook. All right, as Pip's mixing it around. Why don't we go to a safety tip? Perfect. And we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's safety tip is forest fires. We do not want to start forest fires, and one of the main ways they start is by campfires. People don't know how to make a campfire. Make sure you have a nice perimeter around the campfire, surround it with rocks so those embers don't spread, and then discard your ashes correctly. Bury them, bury them nice and deep till there's no more smoke. You don't want to leave a smoking campfire because that can ignite again and cause a forest fire. And then we're gonna to have to roll this bad boy out, this brush fire truck. I'm Firefighter Ray, and these tips Save lives. We are back. We are ready. Let's make some more chicken catch door. Let's do it. So the next step. Hand. You like that? Good. That's good. Two hands. You gotta use your hands. Two hands. Pip is gonna put uh, some of my wife's homemade tomato sauce in there. I gotta oh, shout we, her out. We used it on our stuffed peppers. Yep, exactly. All right. Very it's nice because nice. it's. Tomatoes and basil, there's no extra salt added, there's nothing. Um, so you could adjust accordingly to how you like it. Then I'm gonna have Pip cut up some pepper for me. We already have some that is sliced. Um, this dish, you know, you could do, you could, you could vary it however you'd like. You know, you could use, um, we use chicken thighs, but you could add chicken drumsticks, you could do chicken uh, breasts if you'd like, if, you, if you're not a dark meat guy. Um, you could, you don't have to add the chicken sausage either. That's actually not really traditional, but I like to, you know, mm. add, add my own twist on things. Uh, and, and like I said, it's a, it's a healthy dish. It's something that, you know, you're not frying anything. And, and we all know that one of the biggest issues firefighters face is, is cardiovascular events. And, mm. and, and it's the, the well, big killer. That's the whole thing with 555. 555 is all about health. It's all about fitness. Yep. It's about, uh, what's it's the main killer of firefighters? Heart attacks, cardiovascular disease every year kills more firefighters in America than fires do. So it's something that we as firefighters have to take on. Give a shout out for 555 right now. Go ahead, tell me Can't about beat it. it. 555 Fitness, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, www.555fitness.com. We give out three to four grants of fitness equipment every year. All you have to do is apply. And what is 555? 
555 what it stands for. Mm -hmm. That signifies the tone used nationally in a fire service when a firefighter died in the line of duty. Okay. So that's why we picked the three fives. I know in New York City, you guys used five fives. Yeah, we used five fives. And where I am in New Brunswick, New Jersey, we use one five. And five five five. So the, the, the standard, national. Yeah. The national. Is we five, all know five, five. things as firefighters, we know everything's not standard across the country. But one thing is kind of a normal common, is that yeah, number five threat, and yeah. three fives Ooh. we found to be the most common. So that's why we went with the name. Very nice. And 555 Fitness is just a healthy website about exercise, everything. Yep. Every day we provide free workouts. Free of charge. You look on our websites, our Instagram, our Facebook page, and you'll get a free workout. Instagram really stresses body weight only. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a firehouse or you're on vacation in a hotel room and you have no gym to go to, boom, you can look one of those yeah. up and knock one out in 15, 20 minutes easily. That and was kind of how I, I, I found the guys at 555 is because I was looking for workouts that I could do at home because I don't have a gym at home. And also in the firehouse, something that if, if I wanted to do something quick, Without any equipment, it's it's literally body weight. Actually, all you need is your body, and you get a That's killer awesome. workout. That's awesome. And costs you nothing. Yeah. You know, like Pip said, it's free. So you found Pip online. I I hear Pip finds everybody online. Yeah. Apparently, yeah, this, my this wife gets my wife gets very deterred about how I keep meeting all of these men oh, online. Not online. It's not good. It's just, it's good. I gotta work on that. Where'd it's you meet him online. online? Where'd you meet him online? online. Where'd you meet him? I'm gonna meet you online. Company. Online. That's it. It's all online, man. Welcome to the That's world. It's a new world. Right? It is. Yeah, it's a new, a new world. world. The fire world. service is bracing for a change. And it's it's something to do with online, I guess. All right, what's next? Throw those olives in. So, you know, we cut them up or right No, no. Like I said, this is a rustic dish. Got to eat two more olives. Throw them in whole. Okay. And that way, if somebody doesn't like olives, it's easier to pick around. Yeah, pick them right out. All right. Got your mushrooms, AJ? You want that yeah. in now? Throw those in. Some mushrooms in the chicken cacciatore. Yep. Nice big mushrooms, too. You weren't messing around with these guys. Pre-sliced to make it a little easier. Two you different know. kinds, button tops. Yeah. All right, so we mix that up. We let it cook. How long is it now? How long do we let this cook for? 25, 35 minutes, low, medium, low heat. OK. Um, you just want all the flavors to come together. Vegetables get tender. I don't particularly like overcooked vegetables. I like a little crunch. Um, so I tend to undercook mine, if you will. OK. But. Uh, yeah, just enough time to get everything to come together and we'll be ready to go. All right, so we're gonna let this cook. While this is cooking, we're gonna make a dessert, all right? And let's go to our fire fact while we are letting our chicken cacciatore cook. You like my... It's good, you're getting better, man. You're chicken getting better. Chicken cacciatore. have you inked I know, up. That's, these tips save lives. Like, yeah, that's You'll be inked up by the end of the show. That's yeah. it, dude. I love, I'm not gonna have ink. I'm gonna have ink all over the place. I'll be, I'll be a little... I'll be a little super ass right here. All right, let's go to our fire fact. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's fire fact are the different types of hooks. The truck who goes in and does the saving also has to stay around and do the overhauling. That's breaking down the walls, looking for fire, make sure there's no extension of fire. We put water on that fire if it's in the walls, just so that fire doesn't spread. There are all kinds of different hooks. One of the first ones is a Z hook, mainly used for taking out sheetrock. Okay, we get it through there. The little hook catches onto the sheetrock and we can pull down big sections of sheetrock at a time. And then, of course, there's our regular hook that you see, which is good for going through metal ceilings and also pulling down sheetrock. And then one of my favorite hooks, the claw hook. This thing is a bad boy. Can this go, this can go right through a tin roof unless if I want to take it down? And also, it has a nice big claw in it and can take out nice big pieces of sheetrock. I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's fire fact are the different types of hooks. Okay, it's on to dessert, but I know before we make the dessert, you made this delicious salad. Yeah, I made this ahead of time, because um, with our chicken, you know, you gotta have a little something else on the side, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of doing anything unhealthy, like bread or, or even potatoes or something like that, um, I decided to make a salad, but I added a little prosciutto in there so that, you know, okay. a little, little gluttonous. So tell me about your salad. It's what do we call a, this? Is this the Fusco salad? Yeah, you can call something it something that. Down there you go yeah. again. A little Italian in there? Like you, that. you just named it for me. There you go. Yeah, I just named it the Fusco okay. salad. Um, it's just arugula. I like arugula. It's, a, it's got a peppery taste to it. Um, romaine and even the iceberg, they, they kind of have like a watery flavor, which I'm not a big fan of. So I like arugula. I put some goat cheese on it, which is a, uh, it's a healthy cheese, surprisingly. It's nice and dry. And uh, I toasted up some pine nuts, but you could use whatever you have, walnuts, pecans, whatever it is. 
some uh, prosciutto, and then I made uh, a balsamic dressing with just balsamic, uh, vinegar, garlic, olive oil, and honey, and that's it. So you get a little bit of sweetness, you get saltiness from the prosciutto, some well, texture. I, I like the arugula. I mean, I got two Italians here. I got Paparo, I got Fusco, and that reminds me of the movie My Blue Heaven. There What's arugula? <laughs> because it's a vegetable. <laughs> it's not stuff. for everybody, but yeah. you know, I, I particularly like it. Yeah, no, I like Google. Stuff. I love that. I think it's good stuff. All right, yeah, very cool. Got that going. All right, so that's gonna be our side. Yep. And this is my favorite pot. So uh, for dessert, oh. we still wanted to keep it healthy, right? A little bit of yeah. health. A little yeah. bit of health in dessert. We yeah. can make it happen. A little bit of heavy. Well, little there, bit there's something in this dessert that's not too healthy that I, I can't wait till we. Uh, eat it's some. like half healthy. Yeah, it's, it's half healthy. It's like half okay, it's half healthy. It's half healthy. Okay, good. So I, I I've got a grill pan going actually right now over. Low heat, I oiled it so that we don't have anything to stick to it, and we're actually gonna grill the fruit. We've got pineapple, we've got mango. Um, use whatever you have in season, but grilled fruit's awesome. Like we said before, you got those natural sugars. Pip's gonna throw those on. You're gonna get some nice grill marks. You're not cooking it, you're just getting some color on it. Ooh. And the char is actually gonna change the flavor a little bit, which is nice. Um, we're gonna top it with some fat-free frozen vanilla yogurt. It's a nice alternative to ice cream. You don't have the calories or the cream in there. Uh, so we, we like to use it as much as possible. This, this dessert's really popular in the firehouse, uh, my firehouse at least, uh, especially in the summertime. It's a great summertime dish. And then... Hold on, hold on, off. drum roll. Drum roll. I made some Chipotle dark chocolate bacon. You made this? I made this, yeah. So you... Just put it out there. Took yeah, some bacon, I'll put it out there. Look at the bacon. Yeah, you, look, you gotta leave some. Look at the size dessert. of it. And if you taste it, I'm coming. you get salty, you get sweet, and you get spicy. All now, in one bite. I never even heard of putting chocolate on bacon. It, it's. I'm gonna try it again. So yeah, sure just in case. You. you gotta make oh, sure it's all right. It's got like a little spice cake. I oh put the God. Chipotle uh, pepper. You got to freaking kid me. And, uh, it's dark chocolate, bullet. so it's healthy. It's got a lot of antioxidants, so we like to think. I love it. And we're gonna throw that on top and it's gonna complete our dessert. I absolutely love it. A little bit more on that one. Yeah. All right, so we're grilling. So tell me about Fork and Hose. So Fork and Hose, uh, I started maybe three years ago. It started out kind of as a blog where I would share my own recipes uh, to friends and family. Uh, I wasn't getting the, the responses that I would like from other firefighters as far as get, you know having them give me their recipes because I wanted to share those too. So I kind of took a little hiatus then Instagram came about, uh, which is how I met Pip, 555. Mm -hmm. And Instagram enabled me to, to reach out to firefighters from all over the world uh, and get their meal pictures and their recipes. I've got firefighters from New York to Miami to California, Australia, uh, Sweden. And it's, it's an inspiration. You just thing. share recipes. Yeah, not even some recipes, but it's more or less like an inspiration. So you're not sure what to cook at the firehouse that day. You come on my... Instagram page or my Facebook page, and you see that you know Pitt made pork chops with bacon and, and uh, uh, walnuts or, or something like that, it's and apples. you say you know what? And apples. apples. That's, That's a great meal. Great meal. <laughs> great meal by what was it? Pork chops or what? Pork chops, bacon, and apples, man. Yeah. All in a pan together. Okay. A, so I see that, and I'm like, you know what? That sounds great. I head to the supermarket with the guys, pick up the ingredients, and we're good to go. That's awesome. And one of the great parts about his Instagram page is, you know, we all eat with our eyes first. Mm -hmm. So you see that picture on his page of that meal, mm -hmm. and sometimes you don't even care what's in it. You just <laughs> want to eat it right there. So yeah. it's all about the eyes. I thought my, my father-in-law said it. You taste with your eyes first, mm -hmm. and then your nose, and then your mouth. And the, you know what's crazy, too, is we get, I have a lot of followers that aren't even firefighters. They're just people that are curious about, you know, they see the firefighters in the supermarket doing the cookie, uh, the, the shopping, and they're like, yeah. what, what are these guys doing? What are they making? They, they assume it's chili or steak and potatoes all the time, but... Pip's pulling off our pineapple and mango. They look great. Looking good. Looking good. Really good. Awesome. All right, let's make one. Yeah, we're gonna make one. Just grab a pineapple, our mango. See, we got a nice color on there. That's the you know shirt. what? I should really just make sure this is good. Just, just in case, all right? That's right? good. Got our frozen yogurt. Melted down a little bit, but it's all right. There you go. And then. I think it's the better. magic. Wow. You can put more, obviously, if you like. You know what? I'm going to taste this right now, okay? <laughs> I'm just looking at it. 
We'll taste the chicken tactory when it's done. I'm gonna taste this right now. Go for it. I'm just looking. We don't at want it to melt too much, too. Nah, yeah, and that's what's gonna happen if yeah. we put it away. Let me see this bad boy. Let's see. Pretty good, huh? You have got to be free. <laughs> you get a little bit of everything. Oh a little salty, my God. Little Forget the mango, too. All right, uh, I don't think there's any need for me to eat your chicken cacciatore. I think I'm just gonna stuff my face with this. We're gonna wrap up. We're gonna eat some chicken cacciatore, and we'll be right back. This is unbelievable. What do you call this? Just mangoes covered Pip, in... Uh, Pip's mango pineapple. There you go. <laughs> it's gotta be Pip's. me, because it's got bacon. It's, it's gotta, gotta be got, me. It's got bacon, Pip's little bacon. All right, we'll be right back. Mm. Here we are in the back of the rig, where we never eat meals. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> we are today. <laughs> well, you know, maybe if, the first for everything. if we're sitting on a maybe if we're sitting on a uh, leaky hydrant or something, or uh, if we have to, you know, if we have a house that's condemned and we have to wait for the cops to get there to, to hold the scene. You're in front of a nice restaurant. In front of a nice restaurant, maybe we'll sit on the on a beautiful day. We'll sit on the back of the rig, we'll have a sandwich. In uh, Astoria, where I worked, there's this place called Sal and Chris's. They have a sandwich. It's called the Bomb. It is like every meat, it's got sweet peppers, pickles. It's five dollars. It's five dollars. My kind of sandwich. Oh yeah, and when I worked in Astoria, I got I, I rotated through Astoria for a while. Um, we used to go there for lunch, we sat on the back of the rig, and I never finished it. Now it's not I, that hard to believe. Now, now I probably now. could. It's hard to believe. When I was on the FDNY, I was 100, I was 190 pounds, 180 pounds. Now I'm like 220, and, and uh, it looks like I ate that guy. It looks like I ate that guy. But you're going to so, lose the 30 pounds. Yeah, I'm, 30 I'm pounds. Deal. 30 pounds. Next season, I'll be 30 pounds. 35 pounds lighter. I'm going to 40 pounds. No, 35 pounds. <laughs> don't get crazy. Don't, maybe I'll come a long day. Don't I'll come one of my legs, and then we'll have uh, 35 pounds. Um... And uh, it's, it was just, it's great. It's, it, was, it was great working in Astoria and, and eating, eating on the back of the rig. Love it. Love the FDNY. I love the FDNY. All right. So, chicken cacciatore. Hold on. Chicken cacciatore. Got to say it right. With, here we go with AJ. Here we go. And my little man, Pip. Here we are. Now, I meant little man in the most dirty I, I understand. I understand. Oh, my gosh. As I said before, you gotta be freaking kidding me. This is delicious. The chicken is so soft. Holy cow. I can eat this whole thing. I'll try to use my knife. Oh my gosh. Got a little bit of chicken sausage in there. Mm -hmm. Before we leave, tell me a little bit about, uh, tell me how we can reach five, um, Fork and Hose. Fork and Hose. I love that, I love that name. Fork and Hose. Okay. We're on Instagram at Fork and Hose Co. Uh, we're on Facebook, same thing, at Fork and Hose Co., and Twitter, too, actually. So, and you can go on that every day. Yep. Find a meal that you want to make in your firehouse. And, and we just started a website. Uh, it's www.forkandhoseco.com. And uh, we've got our blog posts on there and, and some extra stuff there, too. Oh, very nice. Very nice. And one more time for 555. For 555 Fitness, get www.555fitness.com. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. And Facebook. What is it's, Pinterest? It's a whole new thing. We'll, we'll talk about that afterwards. <laughs> and one of the cool things you guys could look at is on Mondays and Fridays, we do joint things with Fork and Hose, so you can see us together Recipes, there as well. Workouts. Sounds pretty awesome. To find out more about Firehouse Kitchen, you can go on firehousekitchenshow.com. Go to Foodie TV. You can watch some episodes. You can go to nyctv.gov. Pump and Firehouse Kitchen has like a whole season up there. And there's just, you know, we're all over the place. I love doing Firehouse Kitchen. Now, you guys have both been on it. Yep. Let's see who's louder. See us next time on... Firehouse, Firehouse Kitchen. Kitchen. I don't know. Who's good? Let's do it one more time. See us next time on... Firehouse, Firehouse Kitchen. Kitchen. One more, one more, one more, one more. One more. Well, see us next time on... Firehouse, Firehouse Kitchen. Kitchen. Yeah! That's how we want to hear it. All right, 555, five, 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 Fork and Hose. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>